Hi, we're back in the uh, the Richard Brewing Room here. And just wanted to run through the, the actual new boiler that we've got, which is going to double up as a boiler and a fermenter and a sponge heater. So we can use this with the T500, that's with the big column on it. We can also use it as a sponge water heater, but thirdly, we can use this as a fermenter. So what I've done now is I've just done a wash, um, a, a still spirits wash, and we've got in, in the, um, the boiler, and it's really worked an absolute treat, because what we're gonna do here is we have the temperature gauge at the bottom, and the lowest temperature we can set is 20C. We can't go any lower than 20C. So we've set this to 20C and we've let it ferment. And this is on the whole time. So if the temperature drops below the 20, then this will automatically kick in. If it goes above 20, obviously it switches itself off. Now what we have to bear in mind is we've got the insulation jacket on it as well, so we're actually not using that much heat. But what we've got to bear in mind is that the yeast inside here, when it converts the sugar to alcohol, will also generate heat. And that heat that it generates will push it up. So my room temperature here roughly is 20C. So I'm actually showing a reading of 22C of this particular boiler. And the whole thing has switched itself off. So I'm going to just show you here that I've got two controls at the side. We've got the two buttons, the 1750 and the 500 watt. Both of those are switched on. And because the temperature is over the 20C, i.e. 22, these are not kicking in. So it's an absolutely brilliant piece of kit. It's not 100% accurate in the sense that we've obviously got a temperature range on the boiler from 20 up to a, a 110, so like a uh, 110. So on the temperature range, we've got quite a big scale. So don't think that you're gonna get media, mega accuracy, but what you will get is accuracy to within plus two or three. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is if the boiler is going, it will kick in and it will, once it's reached that temperature, it will switch itself off and it will then drop a couple of degrees. So don't be surprised if that happens. But on it, we've got the clips that hold it all in place, the lid. We've got a big hole in the top to take the airlock. Um, so the bung that comes with it, it's a good size and will fit into the top. So that gives us a nice seal on it. And we're all ready to go. We've also got the tap at the bottom, which has the slide lever here, just on this part here, so that we can open it and close it and it won't open on its own. But that's nicely positioned as well, because when I actually did it the other day, I did another one the other day. When I did it the other day, I was able to switch that tap on, all the lovely clear liquid came out, and obviously we left the sediment behind so that I could then find it and put some findings into it. So yeah, the tap is great as well. Fabulous piece of kit. Um, and I really think it, it's, it's uh, you know, another, advantage to this boiler over anything else on the market. So thanks guys.